Welcome to our tutorial about setting up for recording MIDI. In this lesson, we're going to be setting up for recording from an external MIDI instrument like a keyboard or synth. In Cubase, MIDI sounds can come from external hardware like a keyboard, or it can come from a virtual instrument. That's like a synthesizer that works inside your computer software or from, let's say, some sort of internal software plugin. We're going to learn how to record from VSTIs or virtual instruments later in this course. First of all, be sure you've got your MIDI interface and device connected and powered on and that you follow the steps listed in our previous lessons on MIDI hardware setup and configuring Cubase for MIDI. Cubase should be able to see your MIDI interface under Devices, Device Setup. Go to the MIDI branch of the Device Setup tree. Here are the MIDI ports that Cubase recognizes. Let's close the Device Setup window. Your synth might be playing back MIDI data from Cubase. Now if you want to record this as audio, you'll be able to process it in your final mix. If that's the case, make sure you've got audio cables connecting your synth and your audio interface, as well as an audio track set up to receive that input. If you've only got two input ports, this is the only way to do this. First of all, first step, let's tell Cubase about your external instrument. Let's go to the Devices menu, then select MIDI Device Manager. The MIDI Device Manager window opens. Currently, no devices are installed. Nothing appears in this list. So let's click Install Device. The Add MIDI Device window opens. A list of external MIDI devices appears in the Add MIDI Device window, and I'm going to add my Korg Triton. If you don't see your device, you'll have to define a new instrument. Let's scroll down for my instrument. Select it and click OK. And now Triton appears in the list of installed devices. Let's assign a MIDI output to my Triton. Select MIDI out from the output pop-up menu. And this lets Cubase send a signal to my keyboard so that it can provide the playback for any recorded MIDI data. What's cool about adding your instrument this way is that you're able to select patches from its banks right from Cubase. OK, let's close the MIDI Device Manager window. In Cubase 3 and earlier versions, you used a MIDI track routed to a virtual instrument from the VST Instruments window. Now Cubase has an instrument track that substitutes for all this, just like Pro Tools. But remember, you can't use the same input ports for audio input buses and for the return bus on an instrument track. So if you've got a shortage of input ports like I do here, you can record and monitor MIDI with a regular MIDI track and an audio track that's receiving input from your external device. Let's begin by right-clicking in the track list area and select Add MIDI Track. We're going to add one track. It appears under the track that I'd selected, so let's drag it down to the bottom. And as you see, our new MIDI track is called MIDI01. See the icon here that lets you quickly distinguish at a glance what type of track this is? I'll be laying down some strings to go with my piano and voice, so I'll rename this track Strings. Enter to accept the new name. Now I'll activate the Record Enable button and the Monitor button, and let's press a few keys to test for signal. Here are the MIDI in and out indicators on the transport panel. As you can see, we do have signal. Now let's set up an audio track to receive the audio signal from my Triton. This will make it easier for me to monitor. Let's right click, select Add Audio Track. One stereo track is fine, so let's click OK. And let's rename it. I'll call it Strings Monitor. Now let's enable the monitor. Test for sound. This time we're checking for audio input. As you can see, we have both MIDI and audio signal. What I'm hearing is the Triton playing through Cubase. That's the audio signal that I saw here next to the track. And I see this audio signal because I've got my keyboard lined into my audio interface, so my MIDI output is returning to me as an audio signal. We are now monitoring and playing our external instrument, and we're ready to record some MIDI. This concludes our tutorial on setting up for recording MIDI from an external instrument.